so today I'm going to be doing part two to my series of Dollar Tree Horror Challenges. Um, I told you guys in my last video that I'll be doing a lot of these, and I do plan to because Dollar Tree comes out with new tapes all the time. And every time I go into the Dollar Tree, I just feel like they have new This tape. time, I decided to do a Halloween one since it is October. You guys will be actually, I'm filming this in September. Um, you guys will actually see this on the 3rd. So, it is not really Halloween yet, but it is the Halloween month. So, I decided to do it on this. So, I made four wallets. I made two bifolds and two accordions. And here is the roll that I used. This is actually one of my favorite ones. They do have like a dessert one that I really want to get and I'm probably going to get it soon. And maybe do a horror challenge on it, but I really like this. And I do have a little bit of tape left. I have about like four inches. Yeah, but I'm probably going to try to make a bow out of the cardboard part and just pray for me because mine never turns out good. But that is my roll. So, if you guys don't know, Dollar Tree rolls do have 5 yards on them. Duck brand ones usually have 10 yards. So, I tried my best. I'm actually wanting to try to get like 2 rolls and try to do like a whole lot challenge like that. But, that'll be in the future at some point. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, the first things I have are the bifolds. So, they all are the skull tape on the outside and it is just clear taped on the seam. This one is with black and it has clear tape at the bottom and up here. And then it has black pockets with chrome trim and I was so mad because I wanted to use chrome in the billfold. I was so surprised that I even got enough to do the trims. But I really like how this wallet turned out and again if you haven't watched my craft update then you would know this but I've been trying to go ahead and get my bifolds up more because I feel like I, whenever I make bifolds I try to rush on them and I literally spent like two hours on this wallet so I really like how it turned out so I hope you guys do too. Also all of these wallets are for sale but I mentioned in I think my craft update or something like that that these wallets would not be in a sale video till Christmas. If I didn't mention it in that, then it won't be in a sale till Christmas because I'm going to keep my other one up and going. And then once Christmas comes around and I upload my other one, I'll just close the other one and add the wallets that I have left. And trades are open if you would want a wallet from that. The next buy fold I have actually just got done making, so it does have a ton of air bubbles in it. And I don't know why, but this buy fold gave me a little bit of trouble. So it is the school tape and it's pre taped. And you can kind of see through it, which I think is really cool. It looks like a pink because I use pink in the billfold. But it's just with this fuchsia color and it is clear taped in the bottom and up here. And then it has black pockets with the fuchsia trim. It kind of looks more of like a purple color, but I guess it's because of the flash. But I really, really like this color combo. And I got this fuchsia color from Created by Caroline. And she was sadly not tape anymore, but I did get it from her, so I wanted to give her like a little shout out. Next wallets, which are the last wallets, are the mini accordions. So I have this one, which is clear taped on the outside, and it's with black and dusty lilac. So this is a collab with Conrad's wallet, so you should go follow him. It was supposed to be all dusty lilac, but I ran out. And then I was cleaning out my tape bin because I like to keep it kind of organized. But I was cleaning it out and I found another like half of a roll. So it really made me mad but I like the wallet still. Then the last wallet I have for this horror challenge is this one. It is clear taped on the outside with the Dollar Tree like prism tapes and icy blue. And I used Dollar Tree Ziploc and I don't know if it's cheating putting it in the coin pouch. I don't really think it is. And the ziplock on this, I don't know why, but it's so strong. And then it has the ID at the top, and I really like this wallet. So that is the four wallets I got to make out of this whole row challenge. I hope you guys like these videos. I'll be doing more of them often, um, especially around Christmas time, because I still do have some Dollar Tree tapes that I used last year that I didn't really like, even open because I bought so many rolls. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.